Right, it's electric time. So I don't want to go down the road and fit in a consumer box somewhere in the van at the moment because I will be rejigging the layout. So I only want like a temporary solution. So what I picked up from Halfords is one of these tent mobile units. And we have three sockets in, your fuse box and some USBs all in one. That's the actual unit. And then you've got three outlets, your main fuse, double main and obviously a little double USB. What I've also picked up is three connectors. 110 a female and two males one male will go with this and the other male will make up a little electric lead that I can plug it into the house if I need to the route I'm going to take I've also purchased these metal sockets they're industrial sockets they have metal back boxes and metal silver faces well, they look quite funky anyway but they're metal, six quid and four quid, so can't go wrong. The route I'm going to take is in my side box. I'm going to put, obviously I'll take those pipe clips off. That is going to be mounted in there next to my brawly holder, which is quite a tight fit. It's not going to move about a lot. I won't put a load of stuff over this then. Cable I'm going to route through the side come out between there and where my rear lights are down and then I'm using like a lot of other people have used is the dummy fog light if you can get inside there you'll see there's a grommet there I've already drilled it with a 10 mil hole I'll have the cable come out there to the female And then the other, the other end of this cable, I'll put another male, and then you'll have another male to go into the actual site hookup. It'll all make sense as we go along. But basically, the first job is I've taken the fog light out. I've drilled our 10 mil hole. I'm now going to drill another hole through here, feed the wire through, and then I'm going to run off two of these plugs. I'm going to run a single to this side socket and then I'll come through down under in and then down by my voltage meter down there focus I'll have a double socket so if I do pull up at site and they got electric I can have a socket that side two sockets that side also I can plug a charger into the the mains uh, into the leisure battery if I need to so I'll get that drilled we'll fish the wire through and then we'll come back Right, okay, so that's where the box is gonna live It's fairly held in there pinch tight anyway cable I'm gonna route up and Cable clip him in there you say he's gonna get wrapped eventually in carpets so the cable being nice out of the way goes in there you can just see him maybe poking through down where's camera down there the orange coming through and then he comes out through that grommet I'm gonna cut him probably about that long and then put the female end on these are the cords now I got these from screw fix not advertising just they were my local hardware supplier so I'm going to be putting the female on that end and that will be tucked away then behind the fog light then a male on the end of the extension and obviously the normal end that will go into the sight box on the other end so we'll get that done and then we'll come back and we'll have a look at putting some sockets in. Right, 
Oakley Dogley, it's all done. So, what I've done is I've put the main camping fuse box in the side cupboard, and then that's got three plug out lats, obviously, plus a USB. Out of two of those outlets, I've put one extension cable down running that's the back of the box of the switch front the other one I've clipped out run down underneath the foot strip up and the same clipped him down in that cupboard down and you've got a double so that effectively gives me a double socket and a single right by the side of the door if I want to play uh, music or something off the electric and then to power it all up I made up the two leads with the blank ends and I also made up a power lead which is the male with a normal plug that you can plug into extension and then to get it there that's all it is is unclip the dummy fog light reach in and there's your power cord ready to plug into the main hookup so I hope that helps that's how I've done it there are all different ways I'm not going to show you any of the electrical connections because that's down to you to make sure that you can do a safe or get an electrician to do it but there you are that's how I run it the cables are clipped out of the way I'm not going to cram stuff in the cupboard and pull on the cables but it's fused with a proper 16 amp breaker plus I've got fuses in each plug as well so I've got double security really by running them on basically extensions I'm not going to put massive draw in here anyway it'll be a TV or a fridge something small anyway so there you are, you're going to tidy up the rest of the van, put some stuff back in the cupboards. I hope that helps. That's how I've done my 240 hookup. See you all soon. Catch the next one. Thank you. Bye. Uh, right, so we're just back with a, a final update. I've amended uh, the video because uh, viewer and subscriber Lee. Thank you. You know you are, mate has pulled me up on a good point now when I made the hookup lead I used a male on both ends which is okay I've also used a male on my house adapter and then I put obviously the female on the van now that would be okay if you hook up the lead like I was always told and shown you, by you switching your circuit breaker off you hook your sight lead up to your van and then hook up to sight switch on at sight and then switch on at your van everything would be okay that way but he's a sparky electrician and he has made a good point that if you're not sure or you didn't hook up that way if you hooked up to sight first before your van the end of the wire could potentially be live same with the mains hookup I made for the house if I plug that in to an extension or into a socket without plugging it into my van first potentially those pins are exposed and they're live so yep good point that's why I say always check with the electrician so easy fix what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out the female with one of the male on the hookup lead itself. So that way, when I plug in on site with my male, the other end will be a female will be covered. So that won't be able to touch that as live. I've got to pick up another female for my house lead. And I'll change that over in due course. But for now I'm just going to change over one end with the van. And then I'll show you when we come back. 
There you go. All done. And she only took five minutes really to swap over. So I've now got hook up onto site through the lead, hook up for the van, which then will connect to the mail. So I can't touch, if I do hook that up to site by mistake first, I can't touch nothing that's live. I'm waiting on another female coming back for my house lead. I've got that on order, that'll be changed over. So again, if I do plug in by mistake, I can't touch nothing that's live. So a good shout Lee, that's the whole point of putting videos up is so that there's always somebody else out there with more knowledge than you. If it's correct, listen, take it on and let people know to be safe. Like I said, always get stuff like this checked by electrician anyway, if you're not capable or if you're not sure. But now I know I can just hook into the van into sight as I always do but there's no risk of me touching any live terminals so there you are thanks for watching hope this helps this is an amendment to the the first video I put up but again thank you Lee stay tuned people